Let's make some liquid type in Photoshop. My artboard size is an 1800 by 2880. Let's select the type tool, make sure that you're on white, and I'm gonna type in Panther, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with a humane bold. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can download it for free. Let's go ahead and right click on the text layer, convert to smart object, press Ctrl T, press and hold Ctrl, and push this anchor point to the left. So this way you can distort it. And I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, scale it down. As you can see now, it looks really isometric. The side bumps out and we're gonna need to make it look in perspective. So I'm gonna press and hold Ctrl and go to this anchor point, drag it down. And this is gonna push it in perspective nicely. When you're satisfied, press Enter. Now I'm gonna put the text somewhere here. Press and hold Shift, select both layers with the background, right click, convert to Smart Object. And now we're gonna go to the filter. Blur gallery and select tilt shift. And now I'm gonna rotate this line so it is going to be parallel with a bottom text line here. And I'm gonna bring this in and also the blur. Now it's gonna look blurry. Also make sure that to bring this line out so it's gonna remove the top blur from here if it's there. And I'm gonna increase the blurriness with this wheel. Let me rotate it more, click OK. Now let's do it again. Go to filter, blur gallery tilt shift and now I'm going to rotate it into the opposite direction so this line is going to be parallel with the letter P here and I'm going to bring it here also bring these lines in so it's going to make it blurry and I'm going to bring it like that and I'm going to rotate it something like this and I'm going to bring this in increase the blur from here click OK now we're going to go to filter again blur select Gaussian blur and we're going to add a little bit of blur here I went with 4.1 Click OK. Let's go back to filter, liquefy, and I'm gonna zoom in. And from here, we're gonna start liquefying this. These are my settings, size, pressure. I'm also gonna decrease it a little bit. Density, rate, and I'm just gonna bring these down. I'm gonna start at the corners. Increase the brush maybe, test it out. And make sure to just go gently from the letter's edges. I think I'm gonna click OK. And now we're gonna go to the adjustments, scroll down, let's select the gradient map, click on the gradient, and I'm gonna click here. This way you can add another pin, click on the color, choose a color, I'm gonna go with this blue, click OK. I'm gonna add another one next to it, right here, click on it. I'm gonna go with cyan, make it lighter, click OK. Add another one into the center. I'm gonna make this white, click OK. I'm gonna add another one next to it. And I'm gonna make this cyan greenish, a little bit more green. Click OK. I'm gonna add another one. This is gonna be a red to pink. Click OK. And I'm gonna make the white black. Now you can play around with the handles, customize them, and adjust it until you're gonna be satisfied with the final results. From here, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go back to the Panther typo. And I'm gonna go to Filter, Noise add noise, make sure that you're on monochrome, and I'm gonna bring the amount down quite a bit. I'm gonna leave it on 4.2, click OK. And this is how you make this melting text in perspective here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.